Hey guys, welcome to episode number 599. Today is Wednesday, so it's DIY Wednesday, and today I'm gonna show you how I painted this aquarium rack stand behind me. But before we get started, make sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and if you wanna help support this channel, you can always go check out myaquariumbox.com and bettaoasis.com. All right, guys, painting this rack took an additional week of time, but I think it was worth it, and I'll explain why after we watch the painting of this stand. So, come along with me and learn how to be a better aquarist. All right, guys, here we are down in the fish room with our gigantic dado-style rack for our 50-gallon Zoomed Low Boy tanks. If you missed the video where I built this rack, go back and find it on my channel. It was an awesome build. Now, we are ready to start painting this stand. But before we paint, what I already went ahead and did was applied this plastic wood to the front face of the stand. Anywhere where there were blemishes in the wood, uh, anywhere where there were um, knots that had fallen out or just scuffs in the wood. I went ahead and applied this plastic wood. Uh, it's just a wood filler, really easy to use. I actually use this on my 3D prints as well to help smooth out the surface. But I just went ahead and used a putty knife, applied that to uh, some of these joints. You can kind of see what it looks like here. And then I went ahead and used a orbital sander to help smooth that out. And I just did that on the front face of this stand because there's really no point in doing the back side or the underside because you're never going to see that once it's put together. But you can see there's a patch here, 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 one here, another one here. And that just helps smooth out this entire surface um, to make sure it accepts the paint well and it looks good once it's completely painted. Now, we've got our drop cloth down on the floor so we don't make a mess. We're pretty good at making messes. Uh, and this is the paint that I'm going to use to coat this stand. I think I'm going to do three coats of this Rust-Oleum Ultra Cover, uh, Ultra Cover Semi-Gloss White. And what we're going to do is we're going to first cut in the edges uh, with our paintbrush anywhere where that roller isn't going to be able to get and then after that we're going to use our little mini roller here uh, this is only like a two or three inch you know, like three inch um, oh, actually it says four inch roller so it should be able to get these two by fours perfectly uh, with just one pass so that's what I've decided to go with that's what we're going to use and here is the stand. So let's get painting.
right guys, and here we are down in the fish room with our rack painted white. It's also in approximately the correct position where it will be once it's completely filled up. But for now, I've just uh, put it back here so that we can see what it looks like and uh, we've got a lot more work that needs to be done to this stand uh, before we can actually install tanks. Namely, we have uh, styrofoam insulation that we have to put down as sheets. We need to level our feet and we also need to install some plumbing on the back side of the stand. We also have our lighting uh, still in its old location and we've got our air system still in its old location. So plenty of little uh, fix up projects before we can actually put aquariums on here and uh, fill them up with water. But for now, let's focus on the stand. It is painted, it is beautiful, it is white and shiny and clean. And I really hope it stays that way. I mean, part of the aesthetic here is that we have something, uh, you know, we've got the white floor, we've got the white wall, we've got the white stand, everything is nice and clean and beautiful. And hopefully when it's all assembled, it will stay that way. We did two coats of the semi-gloss paint uh, on this stand. I was considering doing three, but after seeing two coats, uh, I was convinced that it was enough. And I did two coats to every single board on this rack, not just the front facing sides. I did two coats underneath. I did two coats in between the boards here, which was a particularly difficult spot to get to and probably most importantly I did two coats underneath on the bottom side of the feet. Now that is important because if there's any standing water on the floor even if you have a small leak and a small puddle uh, that forms over time that water is going to get sucked up through the end grain of the stand feet and it's going to start to degrade your stand and the part that you really want to protect most of all is the feet because if that starts to rot then the whole thing uh, is no longer stable and secure and you know the entire rack could become compromised so that's the most important part for sure um, when painting a rack like this now three coats probably would have been overboard i don't think it would have added anything um, to the aesthetic or to the durability of what we're looking at. So two coats it is and um, I think it turned out looking pretty good. Now I have seen people paint each of the pieces of wood first and then assemble a rack like this like a dado cut rack. I've also seen people assemble it and then paint it that's what I opted to do. I think it made it a little bit more difficult, like I said, because I have to like brush underneath surfaces. I had to tip the whole stand on end and secure it there in order to paint the bottoms of the feet. And uh, like I said, places like in between these two boards were particularly difficult to get to, but it all went smoothly. It took uh, a couple coats, a couple days to complete. And now that it's dry, uh, it's ready to go. Now, if I had laid all of my boards out in a row and painted them all and then assembled it, it might have been faster, but I have a feeling I still would have needed to do some touch-up painting. So uh, it might not, it might not have been in the end, but regardless, this is the way I decided to do it. I think it turned out um, just fine the way that I did it. Looking at this stand, Um, my biggest concern is that it's not going to stay clean and the places where it's most likely to get dirty besides the floor itself which is already kind of dirty and needs to be clean uh, the most likely place that's going to get dirty and sort of accumulate uh, maybe discoloration is along the front 
boards of this stand if I'm feeding fish food uh, or if I've got drips or you know algae water or things like that, that that just sort of drip and accumulate over time. I'm sure that the front boards here are going to at some point get a little tired looking and at some point I may need to give the front boards a quick sand and a quick repaint but I really don't think that that's going to be a huge concern. I don't think it's something that I would need to do more than once in every five years or something like that. So uh, not too concerned about it, but it is something to consider uh, when painting a stand like this. I've opted for white because I think it looks neat and clean. I know some people stain the wood like a natural stain color. I know some people paint black or other darker colors. It's really a matter of personal preference, but I think uh, neat and clean and white is going to work out uh, the best for me. And because this is semi-gloss, I can actually take a damp rag and wipe and wash these surfaces to hopefully keep them clean over time. So, this is the stand painted down in the basement. This was the next big task in a long list of tasks in putting this fish room back together and I think it turned out looking pretty good. So, hope you enjoyed the look, hope you enjoyed the time lapse, and we'll move on to the next step. Alright guys, while we are talking about painting stands, I want to spend a couple minutes talking about if it was worth it to paint the stand. Now, plenty of people don't paint their stands whatsoever. Almost all of the stands that I've ever created were not treated or painted in any way, just the raw wood. And if you're really looking for a quick, easy, cheap DIY stand or a rack, I would consider not painting it. Uh, especially if it's something that you don't think you're going to own for more than a period of say five years and if it's located somewhere like the basement where you're not concerned about presentation and show tanks and things like that. Now if you've got it in your living room or your dining room or something like that you probably want it to look nicer and I've certainly done those types of things as well. The 125 that I had was stained and uh, that looked pretty nice in the upstairs setting. But all of the racks that I've created uh, for aquariums have always been located in basements and I've never painted any of them. And they were all fine. Uh, the 40 gallon breeder rack that I created, which was in this fish room for five years, wasn't painted and none of the wood had rotted. I know for a fact that the humidity level down here over those five years was probably between 30 and 60 percent and I try to keep it at around 40 percent. Um, I know a lot of mold problems and mildew problems can start to occur when you're above 60 percent humidity so I've got a dehumidifier down here running 24 hours a day to keep humidity down mostly caused by the turtle stock tank which can't have a lid because the turtles need to get out and bask um, but aquariums create humidity as well so the 40 gallon breeder rack with no paint lasted five years no problem I did however notice some discoloration around the feet of that rack system while I was taking it out was the wood compromised was it rotted no, but it did absorb water. Over the course of the five years that I had that installed, I probably dripped water on the floor um, dozens and dozens of times. It just happens, right? You've got a bucket, it spills, you've got a tank, it overflows. You know, you've got uh, like a python and you're, you're switching the hose from one bucket to another. Uh, there's a million situations where you get either a little bit or a lot of water on the floor and the longer that water sits uh, against the wood and against the feet of your aquarium rack or your stand, the more likely it is that that stand is going to uh, absorb that water, um, remain you know, more humid and soaked 
and that's when you could have uh, mold problems. It's where that wood can start to deteriorate over time and that's where you're going to run into problems long term with a stand that is not painted. Now, for this stand, I intend this to be standing for a very long time and while I was at it with the floor and the wall painting those white, I figured I'd do the stand as well to try to make it look as neat and clean as possible. Uh, when I first built the 40 gallon rack system, I sort of uh, skimped on the painting. I didn't want it to take additional time. This took an additional week to paint um, and I wasn't sure that the additional cost was going to be worth it. This one cost like 30 to 40 dollars in paint and brushes and materials like rollers and things like that. So, um, you know, there was some cost involved, there was some time involved, but hopefully the result is that this stand is going to be standing for a lot longer, that that water isn't going to absorb into the wood, and that there's no chance that this stand is going to be compromised by mold or mildew or just rot, like wood rot. So um, that's the most important part to me. I'm lucky enough that my basement doesn't flood. I don't have a sump pump down here to manage water from the outdoors getting in. Uh, we're sort of up on a hill a little bit, and so the groundwater stays away from the foundation. But if you live in an area where you have a basement and you have a sump pump, and that sump pump is going a lot, like continuously, painting a stand is even more important. If you live in an area that's a lot drier, or if your uh, fish room is in an area that's a lot drier, you're probably okay uh, without the paint. Um, but in my opinion, if you're going for something that you want to last more than five years, painting is probably going to help protect it, and it's a worthwhile investment. If you're just building something that's temporary, don't bother painting it. But if you want it to last and you want it long term and you're happy and you're sure that your fish room is exactly laid out the way you want it, paint your stand. All right, guys, and that's going to do it for this week's video. As you can see, the stand is painted. It's ready to go. It looks mint. I think painting an aquarium stand is a good thing. It helps to uh, seal the wood to make sure that you don't have any water penetration, you don't have any rotting going on, especially if you're in a damp environment like a fish room usually is with high humidity, sometimes water on the floor. You want to make sure if you have a wooden stand that it is protected so it will last long term. Now, as we talked about, I've had wooden stands that were not painted and they survived fine for a period of five plus years without any degradation whatsoever. So if you're going to paint a stand, make sure it's something that's going into your forever fish room. Make sure it's something that you want to keep for a very long time. I would say five to ten years minimum. I think that makes the most sense if you're going to go paint your own stand. Of course, I painted this one fully assembled and I think honestly maybe painting it in pieces and then assembling it could have been a little quicker. The way I did it, it took an entire week to paint, let it dry, paint it again, let it dry, get all the nooks and crannies. So regardless, I think it turned out great. We've got two solid coats of semi-gloss white paint on this stand and under the feet and I think it's gonna last for a very long time. I think it's gonna work out great in the DIY 50 gallon Zoomed low boy fish room that we are in the process of building. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you learned a few things about painting your own aquarium racks and stands. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.